five tips to have an eco-conscious fertility journey. Trying for a baby is tough. You will know that better than anyone. We think a lot about the eco impact of many of the things we do in everyday life. For example, driving cars or taking public transport, waste management and eco-friendly alternatives. You may not have thought much about the eco impact of your fertility journey, which is totally understandable, but it's definitely something to begin to consider if you want to make green changes in your life. We've come up with five main tips that can help you have a more eco-conscious fertility journey. The list is an exhaustive, so if there's anything we've missed out, do let us know. One, review your prenatal vitamin packaging. Consider buying prenatal vitamins that come in recyclable packaging. It's a great way to reduce your plastic consumption. Some vitamins come in cardboard or recyclable materials. And if the vitamins you take come in blister packs, these can be recycled at some pharmacies through the TerraCycle scheme. You just need to ask at your pharmacy. Two, track your cycle closely. You probably already know the importance of tracking your cycle. Poopsie has an ovulation tracker online, which you can download for free. But keeping an eye on when you're ovulating is really important and crucial to optimising your chances of falling pregnant. Keep track of this online or via an app means it's a great way to avoid unnecessary printing. Three, attend appointments virtually or by phone. Where possible, this is a great way to reduce your carbon footprint rather than travelling by car or public transport to appointments. Unless, of course, you need an examination. Telephone and virtual appointments are a great way to reduce your carbon footprint, save time and have consultations with your doctor or healthcare provider from the comfort of your own home. Four, consider an alternative to your regular pregnancy tests. Thinking of how many pregnancy tests you may use, an easy substitution if you like midstream tests is to use the Hoopsie Eco Pregnancy Test. Made from 99% paper, it is just as accurate and reduces your carbon footprint significantly as there's only 1% plastic versus the standard midstream pregnancy tests, which take 20 to 30 years to break down in landfill. Five, avoid paper where possible. When you're scheduling your next appointment with your doctor or nurse, make sure to add this to your calendar on your phone rather than taking an appointment card. It can also be helpful to ask the clinic to email you your results rather than printing them. The small things really do add up. To wrap up, the main things you can do for, your, for an eco-conscious fertility journey are reviewing your prenatal vitamin packaging, track your cycle closely, avoid paper where possible, attend appointments virtually or by phone, and consider substituting your midstream pregnancy tests. What do you think? Do you have any tips or ideas on how you can make your pregnancy journey more eco? Let us know in the comments. Hi, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like and please subscribe to our channel so that you will be the first to know as soon as new videos arrive.